Alright you guys, so at first I want to give a huge shout out to Wool Drop who created this amazing new house that we live in Tartosa. I told you we were going to be moving on down here and we did. We booted out the family that lived on this 50 by 50 lot. Unfortunately, the house was on the 64 by 64 lot and I couldn't get it to place here. So I'm like, okay, new house. So with the new house, which means we have a new tour we have to do. So let me uh, bring it down, break it back flow. Okay, uh, the lights are off. So let me turn the lights on real quick. Auto lights. Oh no, I want you to turn on all lights. There we go, so we can see. So here's our front door. You come inside, there's this beautiful hallway here and you see our lovely family photos. Look at them, look at them. <laughs> we take a left here and we have a beautiful living room area. Got this TV, lovely couches, these cute little paintings on the wall. But then if you go back outside and into this door, we have our office where Freddie will do uh, his um, videos. Cause you know, he does videos and where Agatha will write her books for the remainder of her days. Um, and then if we go back inside and take a right, oops, take a right, we come into our entertainment area. You walk in, there's this beautiful piano, darling. And all of our accomplishments are right here, as well as some right here up against the wall. We have Gigi's um, diploma and her picture because, you know, we worked hard for that, so it's with us. Um, then we go into our entertainment area where we have a dining room table and an area to sit to be merry and have fun. Matter of fact, turn that on. And then if we go outside into the backyard, we have this beautiful pool. Hey, little Simsy. Um, lovely uh, barbecue area. Of course, we got to have the cauldron. And then you can go upstairs from the inside, but we're going to go upstairs from the outside. And it's going to take you up here. And right over here is Agatha and Cody's room. I forgot Cody's room name for a second. That is terrible of me. Oh my goodness, yes, this is their room, lovely. Right next door is where the twins are going to sleep when they age up. Now, Kelby's gonna be sleeping in this bed until she ages up and we move her out. But this will be the twins' room once they age up. So, um, this is a lovely bathroom here for them to use. So we go across the hall, and here is Freddie and Regina's room. Oh, isn't it lovely? Their own ensuite bathroom. Mm, 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 mm. And also, they have their own uh, private deck, patio, whatever you want to call it. Well, it's not so private. There's some steps to it. But you know what I mean. Like, you got to be able to live it. So then you go up these stairs here, and there's also a private rooftop area just for them where they can lounge actually uh she's getting ready to lounge nude boom isn't that lovely must mm, th that's the life right there but yes this is the house this is where they live this is where they lay their head um one thing i'm going to do is change these to actual doors so that people don't just be coming up in their room because i want i locked this door for a reason but anyway, but yes, this is the house. And I bet you're wondering, where's Gigi? Well, we moved Gigi out. I know, I know, I know. We said we we're going to keep her around. But uh, there was just no room. And, oh, I forgot. I didn't show y'all the kitchen. I am a terrible tour guide. Bam. Here's our beautiful, huge kitchen. And a lovely area for a, mm, a maybe a doll. Maybe a dog. I don't know. But yes, our lovely kitchen, a lovely country kitchen. And our painting area, yes, because you know Regina's into painting and plus Agatha paints as well. And then a little garden nook here. Um, but like I was saying, Gigi had to go. I was going to convert this into Gigi's bedroom, but I was like, you know what? We've done everything we can with Gigi. I just really didn't want to let her go. But it was time. We're going to go visit her and her new restaurant. She got a whole new restaurant. That restaurant she had in the last part is gone. She got a new restaurant now. And I'm ready to show y'all the restaurant and show y'all who made the restaurant. Because you know me, I love to give my props. And well, hopefully we're, we're going to try to go eat there today. 
Fingers crossed it works well. You know how restaurants do. You know how restaurants do. Um, here are the family portraits. Can't wait to add Freddy's. Oh, I can't wait to add Freddy's. It's going to be amazing. But yes, so let's get into the gig. All right, so Freddy, do you work today? You go to work at seven hours, which is two o'clock. So it looks like everybody's sharing a common thing. They're hungry. I didn't plan it that way, but I will take it. Um, Kelby, I need you to take a quick shower before we go anywhere. So go take a shower. Um, your stepdad is already using the restroom to fill that up. So once we get you bathed, we're gonna go to Gigi's restaurant. Here we are at the restaurant. This is Gigi's restaurant. Look at it, it's so cute. Um, I'm gonna put up who made it right here on the screen. Um, but yes, let's hope it works. Okay, let's hope it works. Ooh, there is a problem. There is only seats for four. There is not a table for five. I mean, we can make one of these table for five just so it can fit what we need going on up in here. But I don't think, I think we're gonna have to like move this to make that work. Maybe somebody wants a real private area over there. There we go. Um, <laughs> there we go. So hopefully that will make it available for us. But yes, this is her restaurant. If you go inside, there's the kitchen. Um, if you go through here, this is the restrooms. Nothing too crazy. But yes, this is the GG spot. But the host is not here. And without the host, you cannot eat. So we're going to go back home. All right, so now that we're home, um, Agatha, my dear, can you please come cook something? I don't even know if we have, do we have a fridge? I just noticed that we don't have a fridge. How did that happen? Wow. Well, let's get a fridge. But yeah, that is so weird. So, now, do we have leftovers in here? We do, so I'm just gonna have everybody eat real quick. Are you gonna join the rest of your family at the dining room table? Oh, I love it. Now, I know those ain't gonna fill you up, so I'm gonna tell you to grab a serving of that, too. Oh, look at them. They couldn't do it at the restaurant, but they were able to eat here. And that was amazing. They got to spend time as a family. Okay, Freddie, my love, you need to reach level six of your charisma skill so that you can get a promotion today. Um, is there a mirror downstairs that you can use instead of going all the way upstairs? There's one here in the bathroom, but I don't really want you to use that one, but go ahead and use it anyway. Hey, we've reached level six. Right on time too, I love that for us. But one thing I noticed, we need to get some of these things that we had before, um, like uh, Simple Living, because that's what we do. Romantic Aura, so sweet. Um, natural heating lowers utility bills by generating powers and keeping any pools warm. Oh, that's cool. Natural light, paintings, okay. Uh, we're going to do this to help his charisma. Oh, we do not have a gym in this house. I didn't even think about it. We'll have to get some equipment to put outside or make a room of equipment. I don't know, but he's finna go to work. So let's get him there. Freddie is home. Did we get that promotion? Yes, we did. We promoted to MVP. Uh, da -da. Oh, we got a treadmill. See, that's what we needed because <laughs> we need a treadmill. So what level of the thing are we on now? We're on level nine. Look at us. Oh, we really don't need a treadmill. You're already level 10? Mm-mm. But we're going to put it out anyway for anybody else who might like fitness in the house. We just got to get you to level 8 of your charisma. Look at you, Freddie, my love. Yes, I love that for us. Get leftovers. When is your birthday? Or have we already aged you up? I can't remember. Let's see. Kelby's coming up in a couple days. Freddie is on Friday. Goody. So hopefully we can have you aged up. I mean, we can have you to level 10 of your career before you age up as an adult. That'll be pretty awesome. Agatha finished her final book. It is time to sell to the publisher. FTK. 
Midnight Sun. Her final book. Oh, I'm so proud of you, honey. We're getting up, we're moving around, we're getting everybody set and ready to roll. Do you work today? No, you don't work until tomorrow. Love that for you, Miss Agatha. Um, go ahead and use the restroom and then take a shower. I know Freddie's off today. So, oh, good mother Sunday. Do you work today, Cody? Yeah, you go to work in two hours. So, Freddie just got another offer to do a cooking video. You know, last time we did the cooking and it said we didn't do the cooking and it made me upset. So, let's try that again. We're going to try it again. So, let's go here. And it's breakfast time too. So, yeah, definitely going to come down here, get that set up, cook some breakfast. And hopefully, when we give it to them, it'll be what they want this time all right so we finished the home style cooking video put that in there so that we can put that up there you are um somebody let agatha let you die. why are you sleep out there on the am i tripping what are you doing out there you were so weird okay come i guess your daughter is the only part of the welcome wagon so let's invite the neighbors in Give her a key so she can come over when she wants to. Let's upload it. Y'all like it this time? Yep, that's what they wanted. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Freddie, since you're looking so snazzy, come on in here and record, record a video if I can speak correctly. Let's do a pumped up vlog. Yeah! Everybody's coming home. Ooh, honey, you is pregnant, okay? Um, come get you something to eat, my dear. I know you're hungry. Ooh, I forgot we need to pay them bills. There we go. Pay them bills, please. And then how'd you, how you video? How's it looking? It's a good video, so we're just gonna edit it. We're not gonna do anything too crazy. Ugh, it took all our money. <laughs> oh, snap. Uh, rising star. Oh, we reached level two. That's what I love. Okay, so what's next? Become a three star level. Blah, 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 blah. Become a three star celebrity. Visit a celebrity hotspot, and then host a meet and greet. Oh, I love that for us. Oh, Regina's in labor. It's time, y'all. It is time. Oh, snapple, snapple. Let's have the baby at the hospital. Of course, we're going with her. We got the doctor. Now you I placed, I remember, because I gave you that hairstyle. Yes, heaven sent. <laughs> I'm just now catching her name, heaven sent. <laughs> oh, I love it, I love it. Whew. All right, so we're gonna go with the name Leon Payne. And then the girl, so LM will be the next one. And I think we are going to go with Margaret, but we're gonna call her Maggie for short. Oh! Wait a minute, hold, hold on, hold on. It just told, wait, it, it told us twins, right? Wait a minute. <sighs> I don't have any M boy names. Um, um, Nicholas? Nicholas Payne, we'll call him Nick. Okay, so triplets. See, with twins, I was gonna let them both be the heir, but with triplets, no. <laughs> No, so it looks like Leon will be the heir, but damn. Okay, because, yeah, I have plans on having them both be the heirs. But with triplets, their spouses, that'll be six, and I would want them to have kids. Yeah, no. So Leon's the heir. Well, we got three of the four kids. <laughs> oh, we got three of the four kids that we said we were going to have. Hey, so that means when Kelby moves out, we can go and have that last baby and call call that a day you know what i'm saying but you know what i think we should go ahead and wrap this up right here um i want to thank y'all so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe 
and I will see y'all next time.